Today for my kitchen I am going to bring you a wonderful dish, one that I absolutely love. It's my favorite way to cook halibut. It's called halibut plaky. Now I've tried to look up where the word plaky comes from. Um, can't find a whole lot. It appears to just refer to what the way it's cooked. And it is common throughout Greece, the Middle East, and even into India. So it just seems to mean being baked with tomatoes. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making halibut plaky. Um, it is a Greek dish, obviously made with halibut, which I have cut into portions. Onion, parsley, lemon juice, some herbs, garlic, and tomato. It is my favorite way to eat halibut. So, as soon as we heat our pan up, we will get started. Now that our pan is hot, we're going to add a few tablespoons of olive oil, just enough to coat the bottom. And we're going to sear our fish. And this will only take a couple of minutes on each side. We just want to sear it and then we're going to move it to our oven proof dish that I have sprayed with oil. Um, probably not really necessary to spray your, your casserole dish, but just as a safety precaution to make sure it cleans up easier. If your fish doesn't want to lift easily off the bottom of the pan, it's not ready to turn yet. Give it a little bit longer. So now that we've seared our fish and moved it out of the pan, we're going to add one thinly sliced onion. And two or three cloves of garlic. Just peel. You don't have to chop them. And we're going to cook those till we get a little bit brown. Not caramelized, just brown them a little. And that'll take five or ten minutes. At this stage, we're going to add 500 milliliters of tomato. Now I'm using my own home canned tomatoes, but generally you would want to use the Italian plum tomatoes. And I have half a bunch of fresh parsley, chopped. The juice of half a lemon. Of two small bay leaves. If your bay leaves are larger, just one. And about half a teaspoon to a full teaspoon of each rosemary and thyme. And that depends on your taste. Give it a good mix. 
to make sure your tomatoes are kind of broken up. And then we want to season with some salt. That's about half a teaspoon. And freshly ground black pepper. To taste. I mean, don't go overboard if you don't like pepper. Because you can always add more later. Just get it all mixed in there. We're going to bring that up to a simmer. So, raising the temperature a bit. And as soon as it starts to simmer, we're just going to let it go for about 20 minutes. If it dries out too much, add a little bit of white wine. So we want to see a nice bubble going. But once you get to about this point, make sure you reduce the heat so it doesn't get any more vigorous. You don't want it doing a strong boil. You just want it to simmer. So this is starting to look a little bit dry for me. So I'm going to add some white wine. And always use a wine that you will drink, not one that you think is inferior. There we go. And by the way, there is no such thing as cooking wine. If you don't want to use wine, you can use just water. So I'm just going to bring this back up to heat. And then by then my oven should be ready. I'm going to pour this over our halibut pieces that are in our baking dish. And then put it in the oven. Now that our oven is ready, the sauce is poured over our halibut. And we are going to put it in the oven at 425 degrees. After five minutes, we're going to cover it with some tin foil. And then it goes for another five to ten minutes or so until the halibut's cooked through. So this is our halibut plaky. Serve it with some salad and I'm serving with orzo. It is so delicious. If you enjoyed the video please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd appreciate it a great deal. I love everyone who even just watches and I seriously appreciate everyone who likes, comments, subscribes. So I'll bring you another recipe soon.